that's all I mean. I mean, I don't know how to live life any other way. So wasn't that so weird to just run in each other at Salt Lake City Airport a few days ago? I mean, it was well, like, wow. Well, and what's been crazy is that NSA has been on my mind and heart. And I've just been in this season where I feel like it's it's an it's a really important time for our country and our world and our globe. We need leaders. Most specifically, yeah. I think there's one thing we're lacking, Jane. We need wisdom. I see it in the school systems I work with, the corporations I work with, from supply chain to HR to agriculture. People are starving to find leaders who can point them in a direction that doesn't have the word AI connected to it. We'll get into AI in a little bit. It's important, but people are desperate for humanity right now more than ever. And so a lot of these thoughts have been on my mind. And when I saw you the other day, I instantly froze back to 13 years ago, me coming to my first NSA meeting. Yeah. Chapter of the Carolinas, and then getting a chance to be around people like you and Ty Boyd and Patrick and Patrick Henry and Kelly Swanson, and I could go on and on and on. Jeannie Robinson, and you know, I knew instantly. I said, "Wait a minute, God! Of all the places in the world, I could have moved to because I just moved from Pittsburgh specifically to the South. Um, why? Because I felt a hunch. Now you and I know we don't call that a hunch, but." That's right. I felt yeah. in my gut I was supposed to live in the Carolinas and I was working for Pfizer full time in corporate America. But I was speaking on the side. You know how we do those things on the side. Right. I was speaking on the side and, and I knew I was supposed to be in the Carolinas. Didn't know why. Didn't know where. So I showed up. I literally showed up. And at my wow. first meeting, I was invited by Rich Slints. So, Rich, if you're listening to this, oh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Because, Rich, you caused a bunch of problems at the Winston-Salem Piedmont Club that day. You didn't know what you were doing. You unleashed something crazy in this world. But can I tell you something? Jane, I was so grateful to run into you in the airport the other day because it just reminded me of what you and I talked about the other day, which is now that you are in your 60s and you've been successful 10 times over and success in every area that I deem valuable, a great marriage with Tom, great mother, great community person, and you've made an impact to probably millions of people at this point, especially when you consider your impact, Jane, and how it's just continued to ripple out. I think our world needs more people just like you who can tell people, hey, sit down because I've got a story to tell you and you might learn from it. And so now all those old stories, let's say from 30 years ago, I think they're more relevant today, Jane, than ever before. Hi.